Hey, good afternoon, Pastor Stan. Here it's January 29th, 2023. Happy New Year if you haven't seen me. I haven't seen you. Uh, it's an honor to be able to talk to you about a couple of things that are coming up. Uh, I want to just challenge us as we're going into to 2023 that, that we seek the, the face of the Lord and that we uh, work in His power. Um, as I was praying and preparing for, for us coming into to 2023, one of the themes that I was getting in August was a heart for the kingdom, a heart for God's kingdom. And there's a lot of kingdoms on this earth, political kingdoms, sports kingdoms, game kingdoms, family kingdoms, business kingdoms, kingdoms in our mind, uh, fantasy kingdoms, there's just all kinds of kingdoms. But the really the most important kingdom that really brings life and truth to all of us is the kingdom of God. And so I really want us to move into 2023 as a year of opportunity, but for us to bring the kingdom of God in. And so one of those ways that we can do that, Jesus said to his disciples, he said, um, I'm going to give you the Holy Spirit. He said in Luke 20, 49, I'm going to say this, I'm going to send you what my father's promised, but you stay in the city until you have been clothed with power from on high. And that promise was the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And God gives us the spirit to be his kingdom representatives on an earth who, who is so divided, so hurting, so confused. And we have truth, we have power. And it says you'll be clothed with power, dunamis, miraculous power. And then in Acts 1.8 he said this, he says, But you will receive power, the dunamis power, when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, all Judea, Samaria, and, and to the ends of the earth. So God is saying, you're going to be my witness to the whole world. I'm going to give it to you by power. And so we as Pentecostals believe in the baptism of the Holy Spirit. We believe in the gifts of the Spirit. Um, we don't believe in chasing after the gifts, but we believe the gifts will follow us as we go. And the gifts are given to build the church up, to edify you, but also to help those who, are, who have been deceived or hurting and they're, or they're in the wrong kingdom and God wants to bring them into the kingdom of, of eternity. So let's move into that with that new year. A couple other things coming up. This, uh, this come, not this Sunday, but Ju January 29th at 9.30 a.m., I'm going to start a Sunday school series called How Not to Read Your Bible, How Not to Read Your Bible. And there's a lot of deconstruction, there's a lot of doubt and stuff like that, and, and it's, it's making sense of the anti-woman, anti-science, pro-violence, pro-slavery, and other cra crazy-sounding parts of Scripture. Did, does the Bible really teach all that? Does it pr uh, disprove all that? Do, is society tell us what to believe? So I want you to come to this class. It, we're we're going to go through it with some video series by uh, Dan Kimball. It'll be a great series starting December, I'm sorry, dis January 29th at 9.30 a.m. Love to have you. A couple other quick things coming up is uh, this coming Sunday and next Sunday. We're still working through this prayer series, Coming to the Throne of Grace this this Sunday I'm going to be going out of Luke 11 where the, the disciples say, Hey, Jesus, teach us how to pray. He does. And he says, he teaches them then about the, the persistent neighbor who knocks on his neighbor's door late at night asking for bread and, and uh, just the persistence of that. And then he goes into ask, seek, and knock. So let, let's continue to believe and seek the Lord. And then the next exciting thing is next month, February 10, 11, and 12th, we have Spiritual Renewal Weekend with Jamie Montero. I'd love for you to come to that. We've had some powerful uh, times with him in the past few years, February 10, 11, and 12. Come, come and let's expect God to do something new. Let's be spiritually renewed so we can bring the kingdom of God to our hurting world. Um, the February sermon series coming up is I Believe. I Believe. You know, we believe in a lot of things. Uh, you know, what do we believe? Do I, I believe in politics. I believe in myself. I believe in news media. I believe in social media. Or do I believe in the Bible? Do I believe in God? Do I, believe, do I believe in Jesus? Do I believe in the church? Do I believe in the Holy Spirit? Uh, I want to challenge us in those things that Jesus said, from the abundance of your heart, your mouth speaks. So basically what's in you comes out. So we may say we believe in stuff, but what's in us comes out. And I want, us, I want it to be kingdom stuff. Um, not that you can't like certain things, but I just want to challenge us in saying, what do we believe? Why do we believe? Is it truth? Is it good for all? And so this is the exciting thing. And then uh, finally, I just encourage you um, to, to get involved in a life group. We have two going on right now. We're working at getting a couple more. Pray with us about getting involved in one or maybe leading one or hosting one. Uh, but let's believe here as we're going into, now we're already into 2023. Let's, let's have a heart for the kingdom. Let's have, a, let's have a heart for people because God loves all people. And he wants to send us out as his representatives, as ambassadors for Christ, as Paul would say in Corinthians uh, so let's go in His power. Let's not try to do it with slick ideas unless they're from the Holy Spirit. Let's not try to do it with, with religious traditions of the past unless that's what the Holy Spirit tells us. But let's go with, with His love, with His power, 
as we're, we're empowered from on high with the Holy Spirit to be able to touch a hurting world uh, because only Jesus can really change a hurting world and we have them. So let's take them out to our world. Hey, God bless you. I hope to see you this Sunday, uh, January 22nd at 10.30 a.m. in, in the worship uh, fellowship hall, uh, in our sanctuary, or online. Hey, God bless you. Happy New Year. Go in God's power.